Welcome to New York Times. Please subscribe for more recent breaking news updates. FBI buried major evidence of Clinton's biggest scandal yet, ensures prison time it was reported that the Federal Bureau of Investigations, FBI, actually buried evidence that tied the Clinton Foundation to a Russian bribery scheme which was underway while the Obama administration was deciding whether or not it would hand the Kremlin control of a quarter of U.S. uranium reserves. The alleged corruption at the FBI is simply unbelievable. Reports are saying the FBI collected solid evidence of a Russian bribery scheme which is said to have started as early as 2009 when Barack Obama and his gang moved into the White House. These reports are said to include several documents as well as even an eyewitness account which came forward during the investigation. And they all indicated to the fact that millions of dollars were routed from to the U.S. from Russia directly to the Clinton Foundation when Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State under the Obama regime since she served on a government body which providing a favorable decision when it came to Moscow. The Daily Caller providing the following information. FBI officials collected evidence of a Russian bribery scheme that started as early as 2009, including an eyewitness account backed by documents, indicating Russian nuclear officials had routed millions of dollars to the U.S. designed to benefit former President Bill Clinton's charitable foundation during the time Secretary of State Hillary Clinton served on a government body that provided a favorable decision to Moscow, The Hill reported Tuesday. The Clinton Foundation became a lightning rod for controversy during the 2016 election. Critics including President Donald Trump, claimed the Clinton Foundation was engaged in influence peddling, trading donations for political favors. The Clintons repeatedly denied these allegations. On the campaign trail, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton defended her role in approving Rosatom's, Russia's state-owned nuclear energy company, acquisition of Canadian mining company Uranium One. Clinton said there was no reason at the time to oppose the Uranium One deal, and argued the committee she served on had no veto power to stop the deal, they only gave the president a recommendation. But The Hill found documents showing investigators had gathered substantial evidence well before the committee's decision that Vadim Mikrin, the main Russian overseeing Putin's nuclear expansion inside the United States, was engaged in wrongdoing starting in 2009. The Russians were compromising American contractors in the nuclear industry with kickbacks and extortion threats, all of which raise legitimate national security concerns, a source who worked on the case told The Hill. And none of that evidence got aired before the Obama administration made those decisions, the source said. Rosatom began its Uranium One takeover in 2009, and U.S. officials approved the Uranium One takeover in October 2010. The takeover gave Russia control over 20% of U.S. uranium reserves. The merger lasted through 2013, and during that time donations from the Charitable Foundation of Uranium once chairman donated $2.35 million to the Clinton Foundation. Former President Bill Clinton also got $500,000 for a speech he gave in Moscow shortly after Uzatom announced its plans to take control of the Canadian mining company. Clinton was paid by a Russian investment bank with links to the Kremlin that was promoting Uranium One stock, the New York Times reported in 2015. Mikrin was sentenced 48 months in prison and fined more than $2.1 million in late 2015, but the Justice Department's release on the court case totally omitted any evidence about Russian nuclear officials trying to ingratiate themselves with the Clintons. The Hill found, despite evidence of the transmission of millions of dollars from Russia's nuclear industry to an American entity that had providing assistance to Bill Clinton's foundation. As you can clearly see the problem with corrupt politicians as they participate in actions one might consider on various degrees of legality and failed morals. If they weren't considered political royalty. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more top breaking news updates. Thank you.